Like you would think that after all these years, just the words based on a true story would be enough to strike fear into the hearts of cinema goers the world over. Even when you know their exaggerations, for entertainment's sake, nothing is scarier than a little seed of truth when it comes to horror movies. And sometimes, those seeds branch out from the confines of the screen and take root in the real-life production process too. We've all heard tell of cursed movie sets and actors haunted by their film parts that only deserve a dismissive scoff. But still, there are some legendary production stories out there that are just too inexplicable and weird to simply be brushed aside once you get to the bottom of their sensational stories. I mean, it's either that or they're a really good marketing stunt, but it is up to you to decide. Ooh. So let's crack open this real-life Necronomicon and take a look at the horrors of reality. I am the mirrored reflection of Bloody Ash from What Culture, and these are seven horror movies with creepy urban legends. 7. Rosemary's Baby Was Cursed by Witches Back in the day, making a big movie about religion and the devil would stir up all sorts of controversy. And if you ask producer William Castle, he will tell you that controversy wasn't just levelled from our plane of existence. He was certain that supernatural effects had taken hold of the film production, with a series of dark events playing out that suggested the film's evil was being reflected in reality. First, the composer of the film was knocked into a coma at a party, falling from an escarpment and dying four months later in a strange parallel to Rosemary's friend Hutch. Then Castle, as the man who'd sourced the story and functioned as one of the founding pillars of its creation, suffered terribly with gallstones to the point that he had to get them surgically removed, and has never had a hit movie since. By far the most infamous and scary event to unfold from filming is of course the death of heavily pregnant Sharon Tate however, wife to director Roman Polanski that was murdered in their home by Charles Manson and his followers. She had appeared in the film as an extra, and was quoted as calling the devil beautiful by a friend after her passing. The links between all of the supernatural elements of the movie and their real life tragedies are terrifying to tie together. William Castle has said of the project that the story of Rosemary's Baby was happening in real life. Witches, all of them, were casting their spell. 6. The Dibbuk Box in the Possession is Real The story of a haunted box in the possession might seem like a simple warning against buying weird crap you don't need from garage sales, but the true story that influenced its creation is far different. The real-life counterpart is a simple warning against buying weird crap you don't need from the far less romanticised eBay, which is as fair a lesson as you're ever going to get in life, really. First located in Spain by a Holocaust survivor, a wine cabinet was passed down through a family and consequently sold at an estate sale after her death. Bought by writer Kevin Manis after learning they didn't want it as it was haunted. He popularised the term Dibbuk box with his purchase and documented his encounters with the Dibbuk, aka a Jewish evil spirit intent on possession after opening the box, giving the movie that big shiny true story banner that audiences just love to buy into. Alas, the events of the possession aren't really akin to what the Dibbuk box did in real life. Whilst eminently creepy, the Dibbuk box spread a sense of discomfort and illness more than outright haunting people, apparently collectively causing hair loss, nightmares, a stroke, hives, welts, coughing up blood, and events around the home like lights burning out throughout its history of being passed around. It's suspicious that a writer is the one to birth a legend, but in either case, it is actually real enough as a cabinet, and the box has now been resealed and safely stored in a museum. Oh, Indiana Jones would be proud. 5. The Omen was prophesied to wreak havoc on its actors Just like with Rosemary's Baby, if you incite the devil in your movie, chances are he's not going to be happy about it. And the set of The Omen found that out the hard way. Perhaps one of the most infamous and catastrophic spooky set stories on this list, many have heard about the strange events that plagued the film from the very beginning, culminating in a car crash that mirrored the decapitation of Keith with a sheet of glass in the film. SFX consultant John Richardson was involved in a crash that killed his assistant Liz Moore in much the same way, waking up after the incident that sliced her in half to see the sign Omen in the Netherlands at the 66.6 km point. And that was nowhere near the start of it. Star Gregory Peck's son died by suicide right after he agreed to take the part, and then lightning struck his plane when he flew out to the filming location. A producer also had his plane struck by lightning as he crossed the Atlantic too with both aircrafts nearly crashing and burning into the ocean in the process. 
and another plane that was supposed to be in filming but was switched with another last minute crashed unexpectedly and killed a load of businessmen on board instead. Original intentions of having a zoo scene saw a handler killed by his own tigers on set and devil dog Rottweilers almost tore a stuntman to pieces. The same producer who was struck by lightning then had his hotel bombed by the IRA. It seems that it truly could have been a cursed production, with Robert Munger warning them from the outset that the devil's greatest single weapon is to be invisible and he's going to take off his cloak of invisibility to millions of people. Looks like his prophecy came true. 4. The power of Christ compelled the exorcist to stop. It's at this point that a pattern starts to emerge for the supernatural occurrences and 70s horror movies, with the devil pretty pissed at his representation across this period. The Exorcist is another classic example of a legendary movie that had plenty of set stories, with ultimately nine people losing their lives that were associated with filming through illness and accidents. Jack McGrowan and Vasiliki Maliaro were two of the actors that passed away, mirroring the fates of their on-screen counterparts that also didn't survive the runtime. Perhaps most shockingly, Mercedes McCambridge, aka the voice of the demon Pazazu, was subject to a son suffering a meltdown and murdering his wife and children before taking his own life during the production of The Exorcist. And it wasn't just death that made the movie a superstitious nightmare. Early in the production, a fire burned down the McNeil house set caused by a winged beast with talons, which isn't as scary as it sounds since it was actually a pigeon in the circuit box, but still, that the blaze took everything out other than Regan's room is remarkably eerie. Ellen Burstyn and Linda Blair both badly hurt their backs, and the screenings of the movie themselves were also full of injuries and reported demonic screaming. Many still believe the film to be cursed to this day, even if it has become a widespread cultural phenomenon in the process. 3. Poltergeist had more skeletons in its closet than the swimming pool. And last, by no means least, in the cursed set lineup comes Poltergeist. Whilst it might have thought itself safe from disaster by dropping the the from its title and like the omen and the exorcist, opening an interdimensional gateway in the movie turns out to have its consequences in real life too. Just like the other movies, Poltergeist and Poltergeist 2 came out with plenty of untimely deaths, with actor Dominique Dunn murdered at the hands of her abusive boyfriend a few months after the film's release. The tragedy of her having to have her life support cut off was the spark for many in believing the movie had its own curse attached to it, which only got compounded as other actors passed away. Young star Heather O'Rourke died of septic shock just before the third film could be released, and two more actors in the movie who played spirits also died in the time between. Lou Perryman, who played a smaller role, was also murdered in 2009. And the actors that did survive the film have had to fight to do so. Richard Lawson was aboard a flight that fell out of the sky and killed half the passengers, somehow miraculously surviving the impact. On set, the clown scene with Oliver Robbins led to his actual strangulation rather than playing pretend, which people only noticed when he turned purple. Honestly, with the timeline of these events, this one is a little more of a stretch, and likely unfortunate coincidence more than anything else. It doesn't stop fans from believing that the film has been outright cursed, though. 2. Ty West was supernaturally drawn to make the innkeepers. Just like the story of the movie, the Yankee Peddler Inn is not your average hotel, and has real ghostly urban legends behind it. Plagued by mysterious events that director Ty West was thrust into the heart of, he decided to film the movie after work on the House of the Devil saw them stay at the infamous hotel. Whilst there, they experienced all kinds of phenomena, as West then elaborated on in an interview with IndieWire. I've definitely seen doors close by themselves. I've seen a TV turn on and off by itself. Lights would always burn out in my room. Everyone on crew has very vivid dreams every night, which is really strange. And when they returned to film The Innkeepers, all of the experiences that informed his decision to shoot this new movie came flooding right back. Dreams were recurrent, a ghostly vibe permeated through the place, actor Sarah Paxton would wake up thinking others were in the room with her, and plenty more. Most strangely, the phone would always be ringing with no one else on the line. Wes made the most haunted room in the movie The Honeymoon Suite, which turned out to coincidentally be where everything kicked off for the Yankee Peddler Inn in the first place, as it's where the original owner died. Was he supernaturally drawn to make the movie then? He said himself that the place let them be there, so perhaps it wanted its story to be told on the big screen by him in particular. In any case, the hotel's haunting presence has made its impression on the paranormal community pretty firmly. 1. 
The Twilight Zone movie predicted Vic Morrow's death. One of the most tragic incidents on this list, as it could have been entirely preventable, the Twilight Zone movie has long been stained with the traumatic death of Vic Morrow and two child actors, Micah Din Lee and Renee Shin Yi Chen. Director John Landis had been cited as pushing his cast and crew to the point of uncontrollable danger throughout filming, culminating in the detonation of an explosive effect in the near vicinity of a helicopter they were using for a chase scene. The effect knocked the helicopter from its hovering position to crash onto the three below. It was a terrible mistake, and one that has since put extra safety laws in place to stop anything similar from ever happening again. But why would this be connected to urban legend? Well, Morrow actually prophesied he would die whilst he was filming the movie. A year before filming, the actor took out a $5 million life insurance policy, which is somewhat of a strange and large choice to make if it were a random coincidence. Even before that though, and far more importantly, rumour has it that a scene in Dirty Mary Crazy Larry required Morrow to fly a helicopter, which he refused to do due to his belief he'd die if he got in it, stating, I have always had a premonition I was going to die in a helicopter crash. If anything ever deserved to be a Twilight Zone episode, it's definitely this. And that's our list. What other urban legends deserve to be on this list? Share your findings in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this, and don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.